Welcome to the Oracle Process Accelerators demo session. If you search Oracle Process Accelerators on the Oracle.com website, you'll find this page. What are Process Accelerators? They are solutions built on top of Oracle BPM Suite that address a critical either horizontal or industry business processes. The Process Accelerator that we're going to talk about today is Travel Request Management. Travel request management or TRM includes the business process that goes from submitting a travel request through the approval, the review and approval by a manager and also determines uh, how many management levels the request needs to go through based on the type of request and finally the approval notification to the request. BPM makes this process efficient from the initial submission to the final disposition and notification. And uh, this process uh, will replace manual processes based, for example, on email, will automate a notification, and will also enforce a lot of different rules uh, in terms of approvals that will be different. This process uh, presents a lot of process advantages. And uh, one of the main this process presents a lot of process advantages, like, for example, replacing manual activities in terms of approval, also email and notifications and uh, finally the most important thing is also that uh, it will alert management of uh, late approvals that are needed to be executed right away and uh, will analyze travel patterns as well it presents some dashboards that allows you to go back and see what are the trends and how you can manage your travel budget this is the oracle business process workspace here an employee will find all the processes and all the steps, the submission steps, for example, that he or she needs to perform. If I click on Manage Trial Request, I will get into the Manage Trial Request page and here I can create a new travel request. For example, I can say I want to, I need to go visit a customer. This is a domestic customer. I'm flying out of SFO, going into Denver. Trial justification is for a new process accelerator design partner opportunity. My trip date will actually be a few weeks from now, or actually let's make it uh, next week. And uh, then I will add uh, We'll add, uh, I will have to add uh, one submit, uh, but uh, here the system is alerting me that uh, there is uh, an issue. Uh, this uh, request is uh, too close and I need to submit a late justification. Customer always wins, so I will say this is a last minute opportunity. It's also alerting that I have another trip that I need to go cancel. And here, at this point, I can submit my travel, my estimates for the travel expenses. It is not going to be too much at the end of the day. So the system calculates the rates. And at this point, I'm ready to submit my travel request. So my travel request is now submitted. Next, my manager will have to approve my travel request. This approval can be done by email with the manager not even having to connect into the TRM uh, site. I will demo here how my manager actually is going to approve this. So I'm Jay Stein, and I see a new request from James Cooper going to Denver. And uh, I'm going to review it. I could request a change, I could request, or I could approve. So I'm going to approve this request. At this time, the request will go through the next approver, because uh, this being a last minute request, it will need to go through additional approvers. In fact, at this time, let's go into the 
business process. Here I'm into Oracle Business Process Composer. It's a business tool that allows a business user to actually see the process that is uh, happening. And uh, here I can see that, for example, there is a trial request that is received. And you can uh, see clearly the human steps that are being executed. One is the manager that has to actually disposition, which means either approve, reject, or request more info. And this is a loop because uh, every manager, depending on the management level that is required to approve, has determined by this business rule needs to be involved. And in case that the employee needs to revise the trial request, there is this additional step to revise the trial request. Let's get into the business rule that determines the management level. As you can see here, we have some rules pre-configured. The one is for local travel, one for international travel. So we'll check if there is a limit for auto approval. And uh, if that's not the case, then we'll go and check if there is uh, a travel type is local or international. And based on this, for example, there will be some different rules that are kicked off. For example, here, if the travel is international, then the, the approval level for international will be required for approval. And uh, here, if the approval level is of a management level, which is pretty high, then effectively there won't be any need for approval. So again, this is a business rule, it can be changed uh, easily. And here you can see that we're using a lot of constants, for example, employee level of auto approval. If you have, uh, if you go here, you can see that that is uh, $200. You can also see that the approval level for international travel is level three. That means that that request that has been submitted, uh, if it's in for international travel, will need to go in this case, for example, to a VP level. In fact, TRM has been deployed at Oracle. If I need to request the travel approval, I need to go into the TRM uh, production instance that is uh, available to me. I can uh, request uh, to manage a request. And here, I can create a new travel request. In this case, I would not submit this travel request because I, my manager will complain that every time I do a demo, he needs to cancel to reject my travel request. However, you can see that uh, the data is being populated according to Oracle standards. For example, we have uh, the cab where we meet customers, we have the Oracle open world, and uh, all these uh, constants have been uh, set up so that they can be uh, also perform according to the policy. We have a policy, for example, that for international travel, it needs to go up to approval to a, to a senior VP. And therefore, if I have my travel request submitted, depending on the type of travel request and depending on the travel purpose, I will... So here it is, the real live system where I can re request as an Oracle employee my travel request. And uh, here I'm logged in as um, with my user. I can create a new travel request. I want to actually submit it because my, guest, my uh, manager is uh, tired of uh, rejecting my travel request. However, you can see that uh, the travel purpose has been populated according to our policies, Oracle Open World, where we hope to see all of you. And uh, the travel type as well has been classified based on our internal policies, for example, international, where we have a policy that, uh, an approval policy that for international it needs to go to the, S to the SVP. Therefore, we changed the business rule that I showed you before.